All right. Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. God. Universe and sisters and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, the ones who are dealing with a Saggy. All right, keep in mind energy can always be reversed, so flip flop the roles according to your situation. This is just for your extra clarification. If you find that messages resonating here for you, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps me bring these messages to you guys. So let's see, this is going to be for October 2nd through the 12th. What is the energy surrounding Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, and Saggy as well? So anywhere where you have those placements, this reading may resonate with you. This is a general reading, so take what fits, leave the rest. <clears throat> some things may resonate with you, some things may not. Okay, it's just for your extra clarification. So we've got stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You are missing some cool shit. So I don't know if this is you, sleepyhead, or this is Saggy. Could be sleeping a lot. All right. Someone here may be catching up on their beauty sleep. Also, I want to invite you guys to check out the description box. Any links that you guys may need are down below. Um, check out Carolina Moons. Uh, she makes this awesome apparel. Just like the seasons, people change. Okay. She has... She can do custom stuff for the holidays, for football season, Christmas, gifts, any kind of apparel. She has tons of stuff on her website. Go check her out. Um, we also have You Are the Best Thing That Ever Happened to You. Go easy on your ass and buy your own damn drink. Okay, so Spirit is saying uh, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on yourself. So some of you guys could be being too hard on yourself or this could be Sagittarius. Oh, oh, oh. All right, two more, please. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how I roll. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, so let's see. We've got uh, shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or F and quit. And no, I'm not telling anybody to go quit their job. But if there's some shit going down, you may need to reevaluate or, you know, Think something through here. Explore your options. Think, does this really truly make me happy? Am I satisfied here? Am I being treated with respect and dignity? Am I being paid enough for the work that I do? You know, there may be a need for you just to evaluate something. If something is, you know, in, in my life, I've gone through that too, where I worked at a job and I really loved the job, but the people really sucked. And, um, <clears throat> I wasn't, I was being treated like shit, like straight up. And, um, oh shit, you got money, money, money. Make it rain. Yeah, so some of you guys may need, a, may need a career change, whether that's you, Pisces, or Sag. But that was the thing is with me. It was like shit. Like, I held on to that job for so long because I enjoyed the job, but the drama that came with it was fucking terrible. I was miserable. I started to hate going to work, and, you know, of course, it eventually affects your work. And if I would have known then what I know now, it's like, I, I understand I was being pushed out of there to go after something that I was passionate about. I could, I had all this talk about, man, I want to do this. I want to do this. And I was doing little shit on the side, but I definitely wasn't taking it seriously because I was being worked like a dog and I had no freaking energy by the time I got done, you know, and then I was working a lot of hours. It was, it was just a lot. And, um, yeah. And then, so once I actually did, end up getting out of that job I found time for other things that I enjoyed and it led me down a different road that was much better so yeah if shit's going down with your job that could be the universe trying to like hey if you're not going to make the change I'm going to help you out here so you know don't take it personal all right especially if this is you like sleeping so damn much you're feeling tired exhausted way down or Sagittarius whoever this is um keep in mind you are the best thing that ever happened to you Okay, it's time for you to act like it. <laughs> All right, so let's get four cards from the Andromeda Skies. This is just additional information and, in, you know, surrounding this situation. Some cards may resonate, some may not. Uh, you may be like, oh, yeah, I was thinking about that. Then, you know, or that's what I was think wondering, you know. So I want to work things out. Either you may want to work things out with the Saggy. Saggy may want to work things out with you. Or if this is pertaining to a job, you may still want to work something out. But Spirit may be telling you, yo, 
maybe you should evaluate this. Like, what, what are the pros and the cons? Sometimes we have to write these things down so we can see it as a picture, you know, depending on who you are. I know I'm more of a visual person. So it's like I can let, like, a lot of shit build up. And, you know, once I get out of that energy, I'm like, oh, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. And then looking back, I'm like, damn. Like, if I write it down on paper, I'm like, holy shit. There's like a thousand cons and, or, you know, a thousand cons and two pros. I'm like, what am I doing? You know, so sometimes I have to put shit down on paper to see it from a whole. Okay. I will find my way back to you one day. So if this is in regards to a relationship or a partnership, someone here may be saying, uh, I want to work things out. I'll find my way back to you one day. Oh my gosh. And our story isn't over yet. You guys. Okay. So this, okay. So we're switching gears here. I told you enough about this whole career thing. I feel like for now anyway, but if this is pertaining to a person, I feel like someone here, I think the world of you. Wow. I see a theme going on already. Cause trust me, I just did Pisces deal with Capricorn and that shit was complicated. It was a complicated reading. Um, but I like this Sag. This is kind of telling me that someone here, I don't know if you're separated from someone or you know, even if you're not separated, this could be someone that you know. Maybe you met somebody who was already in a relationship or something like that, or you were friends with somebody, but life took you guys down different paths. And it's like, our story isn't over yet. It's like, I'll find my way back to you one day. I want to work things out. I think the world of you, but right now there's some shit going down with my job. Okay. I'm sleeping too damn much. You have to tell them if you're to sit out here. <laughs> okay. What is the hidden truth between Pisces and Sag? I left you. Ooh, I left you when I saw you with someone. So this doesn't necessarily mean that someone was with someone, but it could be. Maybe someone was like, yeah, okay. I hid who I really am from you. So I don't know. One of you may have hid your true authentic self. I wonder if you are happy without me. Hmm. I can't stop thinking about you showing itself. It didn't quite come out. So can I get one more please from the hidden truth? Oh, we gotta love you. <laughs> Sorry, that's the thing me and my daughter do. <laughs> I have behind material things on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's jump into your reading and see where this goes. Pass is dealing with Sagittarius. What's going on with these two? Someone may be wondering, like, are you happy without me? Are you truly, are you truly happy? Are you truly happy? Someone may have not, you know, with this, I hid who I really am from you. I feel like someone may not have been authentic. Someone may have project, is that the right word? I feel like it's not. They may have projected themselves to be one way and really they were another. Or there was something here that someone wasn't being truly authentic about. <clears throat> All right, so let's jump into this reading. First card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. Someone here could be very stressed out or even worried, having sleepless nights. Someone could be, even be thinking about somebody like moving on. I've seen the Six of Swords, Nine of Swords. So someone here could be like, it could be causing somebody some type of fear, anxiety, worry that someone else is moving on. Someone else is healing. Somebody may, again, maybe wondering if someone's happy without them. Okay, so let's see. What is Pisces overall energy? Single cards only. Keep in mind these roles can be reversed, y'all. But for the sake of me reading it, I'm reading it one way. Okay, so show me Pisces overall energy. What is Pisces overall energy, please? Transformation coming out. Some of you, Pisces, this could be you when it comes to your job, possibly. Maybe some of you guys are worried about some type of change. Oops, I didn't see it. But the ten of, yeah, nine of swords, ten of wands on the bottom of the deck. Ten of wands could talk about being overburdened, overloaded with work, having too much stress, too much responsibilities, always feeling stressed out, weighed down, burnt out. 
uh, taken advantage of, taken granted for, okay? The Nine of Swords is like sleepless nights, worry, fear, and whatever this is pertaining to, this could be some type of change here with transformation. Scorpio energy may have that in your chart. Okay, so transformation talks about a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination and releasing old belief systems. So Pisces, you may be going through some type of a spiritual transformation. Um, there could be some things in your life that are very major, uh, work, love, life, whatever that is. It's go undergoing some type of change, death and rebirth. Um, this could be even releasing some type of outdated or old, uh, old, mold, old moded. I don't know what that means really, but. That's what I heard. Old moded beliefs. Uh, old moded. I should write that down because I love new words. Sometimes I'll be hearing stuff that I'm like, what? I'm like, is that like an old way, an old saying? Old moded? Old moded. Okay. Okay. So, Ace of Wands for Sagittarius energy. Brand new beginnings, passionate new starts. Um, an amazing opportunity. Be bold and courageous and optimistic. Now's the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. So Sagittarius may be starting something new. They could be having that fire, that desire, that new flame, that new spark. Maybe they're, you know, excuse me, could be starting some type of creative endeavor. Or there's something here that they're very passionate about. Let's keep going. Show me Pisces emotions, please. What is in Pisces emotions for the second? For the 2nd through the 12th. What is in Pisces emotions? The ones dealing with a Sagittarius. Queen of Cups and Eight of Swords. Pisces, are you the one that's like stressing out over something here? Up in your head? Worried, feeling stuck, trapped, taking off that blindfold, starting to see something here? Alright Pisces, show me Pisces emotions. The Queen of Cups is, you know, has a lot of deep emotions. Um... All right, show me Saggy's emotions. Oh, Page of Pentacles. So Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Uh, five of Cups. Yeah, Pisces, it's you. So Five of Cups. There's some type of a change here in your life that I feel like, I don't know if you're disappointed about this. You're crying over spilled milk. You're sad. You're unhappy with how something turned out. Um, focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self and others, everything happens for a reason, and look for the hidden blessings. So there's still two cups standing behind this person, but whoever you are, Pisces, five cups is your emotions. Five of cups is like the low, it's like a lower vibrational. It's, it's sadness, it's despair, it's, thing, you know, negative thinking, focusing on the negative, focusing on these three cups that were spilled. Maybe at one time there was something here that you were celebrating, and now you're looking at it like, damn, that didn't turn out very well or damn, I got to make some changes or something is changing and I don't know how I feel about it, you know? All this is creating some type of change for, for yourself. You may not see it at this very moment in time or this very reading. You may be looking at a situation from a negative standpoint and this change may be something that you're like, I don't want to go through this. I don't want this. I didn't want this change. This isn't you know, making me feel good or happy or whatever, whether it's work, love or life, but this transformation is needed. Okay. So, you know, after you get out of this energy, I feel like you're going to look at a situation and instead of half empty, you're going to look at it as half full, you know? Um, all right. So Sagittarius has a page of pentacles in their emotions. Page of pentacles talks about a new opportunity. Um, Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, uh, or scholarships in a new area of, of study. So this person, this Sagittarius, sorry, I got distracted with that song. Uh, this person, this person, this Sagittarius may be starting some type of a new opportunity. They could be going back to school. They could be taking some type of classes. And this is something that excites them, something that is inspiring to them. This is something new or they're learning some type of a new skill or a new talent or whatever. They could be receiving an opportunity, a message for a job. It's like, hey, um, I got this over here. You can work on this. And this person's like, oh, shit. No, thanks. You know, like that excitement type energy. All right, show me Pisces next move. What is Pisces next move? 
Okay, what is Sagittarius? Damn, it came out anyway. What is Sagittarius' next move? Pisces, your next move, you may be feeling stuck, but it's due to your thoughts, okay? Um, what is Saggy's next move, please? All right, King of Wands. So Pisces, your next move is the Eight of Swords. She is taking the blindfold off and going through this door. However, this is being trapped in a self-imposed prison of your own mind, of your own thoughts, focusing on the negative of the situation. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. It's like, damn, you know, you're feeling trapped, but it's due to your own emotions, your own thoughts. Okay, something here is changing and I don't think you like it or you want it or you don't know that you want it yet. Okay, um, or you're... You know, this is giving you some type of fear. Fear is, I mean, this this change is giving you some type of fear or some some type of an emotion, a negative emotion. Um, fear, oh my gosh, change isn't always easy. So fear is just an emotion. So there's a need to try to change your outlook, change your perspective, know that everything happens for a reason, for your highest good, good or bad, okay? Something here is changing and it's significant to you with this transformation card coming out. Sagittarius has the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag is their next move. Whoever this Sag is, they're taking action. They're stand, They're feeling confident here. The King of Wands is a visionary, uh, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, taking a leadership role, step into the spotlight. Public speaking, keeping your eyes on the big picture, communicate your vision, and don't be sensitive to criticism. So whoever this Saggy is, whatever they're doing, this could be an entrepreneur. This is a visionary. This is a leader. This is a go-getter. This is someone who's feeling very passionate, inspired. They inspire others with their, you know, with their drive. All right. So whatever this person is doing, they're going after something. And it appears to be new, some type of a new opportunity that has the potential for growth. Okay. Um, all right, Pisces. Show me Pisces intentions. Show me Pisces intentions. Show me uh, Sagittarius. I almost said Scorpio. Some of you may need to check and see if you have Scorpio placements in your chart and in, and in what house. That may be the section that is being trans. That may be the area of your life that is being changed or transformed. Okay. King of Pentacles. Oh, Luna. King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is in uh, your intentions. I see. What are you doing? Show me Saggy's intentions. So the King of Pentacles in the reverse. The King of Pentacles in the reverse can be someone who's corrupt. It can be someone, y'all are going to like shoot me down in the comments, but that's just fine, okay? This is also like a non-committal type of energy. Maybe you're not wanting to commit yourself to anything financially currently, okay? There could be a commitment here that's ending, or maybe you're wanting to end a commitment. Something's not, something here is like weighing on your mental. It's not turning out the way you wanted it to be. Transformation can be an ending, a death, you know? A rebirth. So if you are in a commitment, maybe you're thinking about ending it. Maybe someone's ending it with you. Okay. Um, your intentions, King of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like, um, yeah, I don't want to be committed to anything. This could even be like, no, I don't. In traditional tarot, it's like the King of Pentacles in the reverse could be someone who's a gold digger, someone who's money hungry. Someone who's corrupt, um, they're not loyal, they're non-committal and all this BS, right? However, in this deck, um, well, with this being in your ten intentions more so, I feel like there's some, and based on these other cards that are out here, I feel like this is like, you don't want to be committed to anything or there's or, uh, something here that's coming to... Song that just came on is I Fall Apart by Post Malone. That may be significant because I heard that shit like loud. Is my TV's on the number four? Like I can hardly hear it, but it was hella loud. Um, yeah, and the Queen of Swords in this person's intentions—they got their sword raised towards you. So 
I don't know if this person is saying, Pisces, I want a divorce. And that was like the harshest reality of this energy that I'm seeing here. So if that's not you, it could be something that's less serious, you know. But the Queen of Swords is brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations. And people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorced or unmarried individuals. So very much so, the Sag may be saying, like they may be speaking, their intentions here is to speak some type of truth. The Queen of Swords makes head over her decisions and she doesn't really care who she, who she hurts, you know? This is someone who could be hurting themselves, you know? Not hurting themselves, but like they've been hurt before too, you know? Or this is someone who is unemotional about the situation. I don't see any emotions on Sagittarius' side. I do on your side, Pisces. Um, yeah. Five of Cups can talk about regret. And now that if the King of Pentacles is your intentions, like maybe you don't, maybe you're not committed to this person, you know? But you're in your mind because there's some type of choices here that you may regret that caused an ending. So say if this was somebody you're dating, this person may be saying, hey, I'm going to focus on my work, on my career. Um, they're communicating something here with you very sharp, very bluntly. That She has her sword raised, he, she, whoever this is. Don't pay attention to the gender. And I don't know if you weren't committed or you were non-committal or take it as it resonates. Okay. Show me the outcome between these two. Pisces and Sag. You may love this person, you know, I mean, with this Five of Cups, like, and being in your mental, but I don't know what this King of Pentacles in the reverse is, because it could be so many different things. Um, let me get one clarifier on this for Pisces intentions. Why is this King of Pentacles here? The Four of Wands. And the chariot and the ten of swords. I don't know who did what here, Pisces, and I, you know, whatever, but I don't know if this was a marriage, Cancerian energies here, um, or you wanted, you were hoping that something would move forward into a family, a home dynamic, something would move forward into some type of stability and then boom just like that it was like done or there was a betrayal here maybe someone else was married or maybe you were but you were non-committal and this person may have cut your ass off i don't know y'all take it as it resonates but don't shoot the messenger roles can be reversed as well show me the outcome here between pisces and saggy Show me the outcome here. The moon. The moon can symbolize secrets, intuition, fear, things that are hidden, things that are not yet known. Um, listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. So if there is some things that are, you know, aren't quite clear at this moment, Spirit is telling you to use your intuition. King of Cups is definitely... In control of his emotions, uses his intuition, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, charitable benefactor, and seeing a counselor. Now going back to this moon, there's something here that I feel like, I don't know, your intuition is nudging you to do, but there may be fears surrounding this or fearing the unknown, but your intuition is trying to tell you to, to do something or this person, I don't know. But there is some type of fear. Spirit is telling you to let go of that fear. Soon everything will become clear. Okay? Whatever you can't see right now at this moment in time, it'll become clear. Whether that's for you or Sag, I don't know. Then you have the Dreamer, which is you, Pisces. You got Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. King of Cups is more Scorpio to me. So Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So strong water. All right, the dreamer, a new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside, and take that leap of faith. Damn, the queen of wands. So take action, go towards your dreams. Knight of wands, get a move on, okay? I'm not going to take them though, because three, two. But knight of wands is very quick, instinctual, 
energy. The Queen of Wands is brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate the ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance in career and personal life. And balance. Wow, Sagittarius energy. Showing up in the house. Damn, the Queen of Cups. Is this a soulmate? I, I mean... I don't know what's going on here, Pisces. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Balance. Okay, Sagittarius Energy, blending the ideas of, of your own, blending ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. Keeping one foot in water, one foot on land. So I'm going to have to go through and clarify these energies. Um, where are we at? 25. Now, if I read this another way, someone here could be in, oh, someone here could be um, Pisces. I feel like more so you, but again, roles can be reversed, so whatever. <sighs> With this transformation card being your overall energy, there may be a significant change that you need to make. Your intentions here, King of Pentacles in the reverse. You may be in a commitment, in a marriage type dynamic that you're not committed to. You're not loyal to. It may be for the money. Shoot me down if you want to. I mean, please don't. But in the Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, it's like, damn, I regret doing something. I feel stuck now. I don't know what to do. I know I need to make this change because I'm seeing soulmate, true partners here. And this Sagittarius may be that person. So if you are in a commitment to someone else who you're not truly committed to, and then you meet this Sagittarius and you're like, oh, like you're my king of wands to my queen of wands. And I'm so desireful for you. You just turn me on, you sexy little thing. <laughs> okay, but the queen of cups and king of cups is here too. It's like there's passion, there's love. I love you card is out here. I hid who I really am from you. Did you hide who you really was from this person? And this person is just like, I don't know, maybe they, maybe you two are friends. Maybe you started some type of passionate, mm, mm, mm. And then this person may have found out some truth and was like, oh, hell no. I'm putting my sword up to you. You better get a divorce, shuddy, or mister, or whoever you are. And now you're like, fuck. Feel stuck. Stuck in regret. This isn't turning out the way I wanted it to. Uh, maybe you're losing some type of money in a divorce or a separation. Maybe you just live with this person. Or maybe you have joint cars, joint homes, joint somethings, joint accounts or something. And there's a betrayal here. There's an ending. It's like, fuck, now this is all going to have to come to an end. This chariot that I was riding on and this four of wands, this, all this stability and this whatever I was doing you know, catching planes to Bali and, you know, doing the damn thing. It's like, now I gotta, now, now this shit's gonna end. But this is my person. I want to start over with this person. I want to bring something into balance. I love you. Uh, I'll think the world of you. I'll find my way back to you one day. Our story isn't over yet. I want to work things out. But I'm, I'm gonna lose my shit coming out of this situation. Did I just sum that up? Show me the moon card. The page of pentacles. Page of pentacles can be a document, could be children, child support, opportunities. I don't know if someone's fearing that or someone's hiding that. Show me the king of cups, the magician. Someone here has manifested some type of a loving, caring connection. Give me one on this magician, Mel Virgo Gemini energy. Give me one on this 
magician to make sure this isn't someone being emotionally manipulative or someone trying to well damn seven of pentacles in the reverse seven of pentacles in the reverse is a waste of time it's a poor investment someone here may have manifested something and they're realizing that they made a bad bad investment like they've wasted their time so now someone could be trying to manifest something new. Somebody could also be, again, like I was saying, Pisces, this could be you losing out on some type of finances, or that's what you're stressed out about, that's what you're worried about, is losing out on So I did say that with that chariot and that four of wands, like the house, the assets, the cars. This is like investments, seeds, okay? So... Show me this dreamer. <laughs> I just seen the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone's dreaming about going towards their, their Queen of Wands. Or you're dreaming about going towards your King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, maybe for a passionate endeavor. Be careful for one night stand energy because that can also be the thing. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside. I don't feel like that's for everybody though. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, go ahead. Knight of Pentacles talks about reliability. Um... Power in the reverse. Someone's still resisting some type of change. Someone is like slow walking something here. Someone's dragging their feet. So because of some type of someone's trying to avoid chaos. Someone's trying to avoid disaster. Someone could even be trying to avoid divorce. All right. Like somebody's slowing something down. Like you're slowing down the inevitable. Spirit is saying go. Go. Push those fears to the side. Put one foot in front of the other. I know it's easier said than done. I'm just talking shit. All right, show me the Queen of Wands. Show me the Queen of Wands. Show me the honey. <laughs> Look, you guys will not believe this. I literally said, show me the Queen of Wands. Show me the honey. Look who came out. It's me, honey, honey. Guess who else it is? It's me, honey, honey. This could be someone with strong fire and water in their chart. There's like a lot of passion and a lot of love. Someone's like, come here, honey pie. Come here, honey pie, sugar dump. Okay. Oh. It's just the mood of men, I'm sorry, y'all. But look, you, oh shit. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and look what was underneath that. The freaking Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Okay. Sugar honey. Maybe you realize that you're... I don't know, Pisces, what you're going through. Or whoever's on this side, someone's like... Yeah. Maybe you're in a commitment just for the stability. And it's like, shit, I know I need to make some type of changes in my life. <sighs> or maybe you made some changes that you regret. Maybe you ended something. Now you feel stuck. I don't know, don't know just... She put this queen of wands back over here. I definitely see a very loving, compassionate energy, like soulmate, soul pair. And I feel like this is... Yeah, show me balance. Balance. What are we balancing today? The Four of Cups. Oh, Lord. Somebody could have rejected someone for other options, okay? Because these, it's not like the normal Four of Cups in the other decks. In the other decks, it's the dude sitting under the tree staring at these three cups and not even seeing this cup. In this deck, he's like, oh, yeah, give me some of that. You know, and not even paying no mind to these three cups. So somebody here may have other options, but they only want that one. Someone could have been patiently waiting or someone here. Give me one more on this balance card. A hair font and five wands. I'm not going to take those. Give me just one on this balance. Thank you. Five of swords. Someone may want to heal some type of conflict. Someone may want to come in and fight for this. Uh, there could be someone... Oh, what is this five of swords? 
I'm not taking that one or those because I dropped them. But Ten of Wands, yeah, someone's, someone's like weighed down, stressed out, burdened by something. Feeling some type of way. Thank you. The Sun. Leo Sagittarius energy. Five of Swords. Someone's getting some type of clarity about something here. Someone may have defeated someone or someone may feel defeated. This is different than the typical Five of Swords too. It's like these people in the background are all laying down like they're defeated and he's got all the swords and he's like, aha, I win. The sun. Someone may be wanting to heal some type of conflict. Uh, if there was swords that were thrown Swords is communication. Somebody may be wanting to pick those up. I don't know. Picking up the pieces. What is this five of swords? What is the five of swords? The fool. I don't know if someone was being foolish or reckless or someone here wants to start something new and they're ready to come in and fight for this. They want to heal the situation. Is this you, Pisces? The moon. Someone's fearing the unknown. Or someone's someone's afraid to take this this risk. Because maybe somebody feels like they'll get rejected. Because there could have been a lot of gossip, slander, mind games that were played, but I do feel like somebody wants to heal something. Yo, we have the death card, change, transformation. Good lord, seven of swords. But the Wheel of Fortune is there, so. Yeah, somebody could have put an end to something because someone here was lying. Decided to move forward, walk away from a situation, and they walked. Damn. Ten of Pentacles. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know what this is. For some of you guys, this would go two of one ways. If you guys want personal reading, hit me up because this is an interesting story. But the Wheel of Fortune is like someone walked away and walked straight into their destiny. Or somebody here is just turning their back, walking away from a situation emotionally, focused on moving forward, okay, They're creating positive changes in their life. And look at these positive changes. Yo, yo, you got three of wands, ten of pentacles, ten of cups, nine of cups, two of cups. Someone's about to go get their, their boo, their everything. Oh, yeah. I feel like somebody here made... Some foolish mistakes. Somebody here could have some secrets. I don't know if there's some secret fights. Some There could even be some like bad mouthing that someone doesn't know about. And if they start something new, they may be worried that they could miss an opportunity or get rejected. Like if something came out. Or gets revealed. All right, y'all. Did I get your guys' oracle cards? I didn't. Let's get three cards from the romance angels to close this reading out. Whoop. Calling in your soulmate. Yeah, I would say there's a soulmate energy here. Uh, with your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. I am seeing strong fire and water energy, and that's, you know, Sagittarius and Pisces, fire and water. It's about to get steamy up in this bitch. <laughs> or someone's just about to get put out. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive. The highest energy of all. And, ooh, shit. Past life relationship. You've known each other before and worth waiting for. So, ooh, someone here is calling in their boo. They're like, it's <sighs> All right, I'm going to leave it here and stop being a freak. But I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this read. If you did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.